Listen. The rain started. I'm very excited about today's vlog because we are going to pay a visit to the secret domes at Cask Smugglers. So they're really cool domes situated on top of Waverley Station. They're decked out in like Nordic style with like rugs and you get your own private dome and that's all I'm going to say for now because let's just go and see what it's like. I feel like this is actually the perfect day to visit the secret domes because as you can tell it's a dreek day in Scotland. The weather really hasn't been great recently so I feel like this is a nice day to visit a dome because I feel like we're going to be quite cosy inside and if it starts raining again it might actually be quite nice because we can hear the rain but we're like in our little cocoon eating some nice food and drinking some nice drinks. What more do you want? Also, can I just say for any locals watching this vlog, I'm really pleased that they've changed the name of this shopping precinct back to Waverley Market because that's the name of what it was when I was a kid. And I spent many Saturdays here in Waverley Market, in the food court. It was a real like place to meet up in the 90s. But then they changed the name to Princess Mall and it just wasn't the same. So I'm really glad that it is now back to its original name of Waverley Market. dome and it is so cute it's really warm because they've got an indoor heater here uh, so you feel like really toasty and yeah I'm, as I said before I'm kind of glad we did it on a kind of not so nice day because this is the kind of day when you do just want to like cozy up they're much bigger than I thought they would actually be so it kind of feels a bit empty with just the two of us in here I can imagine that this would be a really cool place to come with like a big group of people um, but nevertheless we're gonna make the most of it we're gonna enjoy the beautiful views across to Edinburgh Castle which we can see in the background and yeah order some nice food we've actually ordered the charcuterie board uh, gluten-free uh, but they also do afternoon tea and they also do cheese boards as well as other things. So for now I'm going to peruse the drinks list and decide what I'm going to have to drink. I am going to go for a porn star martini. <laughs> We've also got the Balmoral Hotel in the background and if you watched our Harry Potter vlog you'll know that that got a mention. So yeah, the location of these um, domes is absolutely perfect. So another feature of these domes that I'm quite liking is the fact that you can hook up your phone to the Bluetooth and you can play your music. For YouTube, we're not going to be able to let you hear the music that we're playing, but we're going to select something relaxing. I feel like maybe a bit of classical music might be good for this yeah, moment. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what would you pick, Ewan? Oasis. No. <laughs> We've also got this little bell that we can use to ring for service. So that is what I'm going to do now to order the drinks. <laughs>
Well, the charcuterie board is very tasty. We've got a very nice selection of cheeses and meats. We've also got some lovely chutney, some walnuts. Um, but what I really like about it is that they give you plenty of crackers because there's nothing more annoying than having like a cheese or circuitry board and literally they only give you like four crackers. So we've got a really good amount of crackers, which pleases me immensely. <laughs> also, my cocktail, my porn star martini is very tasty. So I'm enjoying the experience. <laughs> I know I kind of said this before, but doing the vlogs, it does kind of like um, motivate us to do things that we wouldn't normally do. And today, I kind of feel a bit like a tourist in my own city, which is really nice. There's so much to see and do in Edinburgh, and I think sometimes when you live in a place, you don't really bother. Whereas if we were in another city, we would like be researching and we'd be going to see loads of places. But when you live in that place, you don't tend to do that. So that's one of the things that I'm looking forward to about doing this vlog like just kind of visiting places that we wouldn't normally go to and this is probably one of them um, although I think I'll definitely come back here with a group of friends because it'll be really good fun but yeah we're looking forward to bringing you things a little bit different from Edinburgh and things that we wouldn't normally perhaps do <laughs> Listen the rain started. This is kind of what I wanted to happen because it just makes it all the more cozy when you're inside and it's raining like this. You kind of feel like you're camping <laughs> or maybe glamping would be yeah more close to the point. But I think this would also be really nice at night time like when all the lights are like on and I think it would be a nice atmosphere at night as well. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. So I'm going to tell you now a little bit about how this works in terms of costing and things. So there's a total of seven domes and you can get a maximum of 12 people in one dome. If you come between Monday to Friday and before 6pm on a Friday then the cost to hire the domes are £30. But that £30 is redeemable against food and drinks, so that's very easy to, to redeem. Um, or if you come at the weekends during peak time, it's £75 to hire. And again, redeemable against food and drinks. So I guess the more people you come with, if you're coming at the weekends, then the easier it will be to spend that £75. I think it would be a really fun place to come with a group of people, get the tunes on, have a few cocktails, maybe a little bite to eat. There's also actually a bar within this complex as well, so you don't necessarily have to come to the domes. Uh, obviously on a day like today the bar probably wouldn't be a lot of fun, but I can imagine on a nice sunny day um, the bar area would be really nice to hang out into. <laughs> And in case you're wondering what our choice of music was, we did start listening to Classic FM, but then we decided to mix it up a little bit. We got some ELO on instead, which was nice. <laughs> Being inside this dome has made me remember that I think it would be really cool to stay. Have you seen those um, like glass igloos that you can stay in? I think they're in Norway, maybe? I think it's Norway. And you can basically like sleep and you just look up and you can see like stars at night time. That would be an amazing place to stay. That is definitely on my bucket list of places. I can imagine it would be a bit like this, but with beds, maybe slightly bigger, I'm not sure. Colder. Uh, yeah, probably colder, but I can imagine they'd have to keep it really warm for you. So if you're watching this and you've been to that place, I'd love to hear if you enjoyed it, what your thoughts were. Is it just a bit gimmicky or is it actually worth going to? Because that would be cool. I would love to do that before I die. And if we do end up doing more traveling, if we don't end up having a child, if you're new to the vlog, you'll just have to look back and see what I'm talking about. But we've had a long journey attempting to start a family, have a child, and it hasn't really worked out so far. But if it doesn't work out and we don't have a child, then I think those glass igloos are definitely on the bucket list of places to, to go in the future. 
I'm actually going to eat my passion fruit because I always think it's such a waste in these cocktails. You get half a passion fruit and no one ever eats it because they're too like ladylike. But I'm just go gonna go in and eat the passion fruit because otherwise it's such a waste. And I'm actually using the knife that I used to take my cheese, <laughs> so I might get cheesy passion fruit. Mmm. Passion fruit is so so lovely. Mmm. It's kind of dripping everywhere. I should have actually put it in the drink, actually. That's what we'll do. I'll mix it up for the last bit. <laughs> the last little mouthful of foam slash porn star martini. I'm going to drink it. Mmm. That's really good. I think a lot of the alcohol is actually at the bottom, so <laughs> which is a good thing because we're about to leave and it's really wet outside, it's a really horrible day, so having a little bit of alcohol to see me through to get home is probably a good thing, it'll keep me warm on this wet day. Also, can I just point out that it is May right now and the weather is atrocious. Welcome to Scotland. Let us know if you've been here and what you thought. As always, thank you for watching and a big cheers from us and we shall see you next Friday. I'm very excited about today's vlog because we are going to visit... What are they called? <laughs> what are they called? I just got a bit of porn star martini foam on my nose. <laughs> so I'm really dignified. <laughs> I love that you've got more than your nose. Have I still got some on my nose? <laughs> oh my god, where is it? Uh, let us know in the comments below if you've been here to the secret... Oh, why do I keep forgetting that? I want to say like <laughs> coves or caves, but it's not. It's the secret... Smugglers. Oh. Smuggler's Cave? No, it's not. Smugglers it's the Secret Cove. Domes. Secret Domes, that's it. Oh, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would make us very happy. Bye. <laughs> Do you think that was okay? <laughs>